Hello, very warm well, welcome. Driver ratings for the Hungarian Grand Prix. All 20 drivers covered. What an epic race between Max and Lewis. Let's get straight into it. Carlos Sainz, 10 out of 10. P5 in Hockenheim, P5 in Hungary. He's a consistent performer. Arguably driver of the season. Qualifies 8, finishes 5th. Superb by the Spanishman. Lando Norris, 8 out of 10. Qualifying master, qualifies seventh, best of the rest once again in quali. P9 in the race, a long pit stop, really cost Norris. He hasn't got that much luck. <laughs> Sainz would fifth, not, I'm sure Norris would have been up there with him. Kimi Raikkonen, 8 out of 10, consistent as usual, hardly see him on the TV. Hammers Giovinazzi, qualifies 10th, finishes 7th, and yeah, takes Giovinazzi to school. Giovinazzi, zero. Block stroll in qualifying. Beaten by a Williams in the race. No race pace. His qualifying's being good. But then he qualifies 14, gets a penalty. Pretty poor weekend for Giovinazzi. Ferrari, Vettel and Leclerc, six. Very average weekend. Over a minute behind. Charles Leclerc hit the wall in practice one. Uh, Leclerc also should have had a penalty. Uh, in the race for swiping Bottas and yeah I mean qualifying Vettel was 5th Leclerc 4th race Vettel 3rd Leclerc 4th so yeah pretty poor weekend for Ferrari they could have got even lower than that but I suppose Vettel got a podium back to back podiums Ricardo 0 terrible qualifying P18 was battling for track position with Perez screwed both of their laps so he qualifies p18 p14 in the race has a great battle with magnuson but Renault really need to get back mclaren are running away with that fourth spot in the constructors hulkenberg four out of ten p11 in qualifying p12 in the race Renault are very poor they need to get back in the points that's two weekends now where they've been out the points in a row gasly two could be one, could be zero, to be honest. But uh, come on, we're not going to go too harsh on him. I mean, we we know the story with Pierre Gasly. Schooled by Max once again, beaten by a McLaren in the race, lapped. He has to be dropped. It's just has to be dropped. Can't believe it's not happened. Max, ten out of ten, dominated all weekend. Pole, fastest lap, led sixty six laps. Epic battle with Lewis, defended well, but. He was on the wrong strategy. He stay, had to stay out because he didn't pit. And then Lewis was coming with fresh tyres. But a superb weekend by Max. He's just sensational this season. Danny Kvyat, 3 out of 10. Back to reality after a podium. Qualifying 13th, I believe. Yeah. And uh, race 15th. Not a great weekend for Kvyat. Albon, 6 out of 10. Big crash in... Practice 2, got on the white line, crashed the car, gets in the points, finishes 10th, qualifies P12. Great battle with Perez and a great battle with Danny Kvyat in the race. It's a brilliant wheel-to-wheel -wheel action for Albon. Kevin Magnussen, 2 out of 10. Dirty driving once again on Ricardo, but in his opinion he's doing nothing wrong because the stewards never investigate. So... Yeah, he will not yield, Kevin Magnussen. Will never yield. Grosjean, 5 out of 10. Standard 5, retires from the race. He did a world-class performance in qualifying. And that's why I've boosted him up. P9 in qualifying. In the race, he retired. Uh, Lewis Hamilton, 9. Um, perfect strategy call. Wins him the race. Extends his championship lead. Epic battle with Max, especially going up the hill. I mean, Hamilton, he's in the toe. He's going to go round the outside of the Dutchman. Then to turn four, he goes off the track. Max keeps his position, but yeah. After a tough Hockenheim race, Hamilton wins. And really going to dominate that championship again, especially when we get into Spa in Italy coming up. Valtteri Bottas, 6 out of 10. P2 in qualifying. In the race, it wasn't his fault. Leclerc swiped him and good overtakes to get back in the points. Had to change his wing. Good fight back. 
Lance Stroll, zero. Um, blocked by Giovinazzi, which wasn't his fault, but beaten by Russell in the race and qualifying. And yeah, he finished P4, and this week, I mean, 18th in qualifying, 17th in the race, very, very poor. I mean, that just, Russell beats him, and that's the team that Stroll left, and Williams actually beat him. Perez, five. Horror qualifying, was battling with Ricardo out of position, ruined each other's lap. But in the race, great start by Perez, great fight back, had a great battle with Alexander Albon, finishes P11. Now, one of the stars of the weekend, George Russell, 10 out of 10, best weekend in F1, P16 in the race and qualifying, star of the weekend along with Sainz and Max. And yeah, he's a, to get P16 and then to get a 10 is remarkable, but it, that is a miracle what he's done in that car to get P16 in the race and in qualifying. I mean, and he absolutely hammered Kubica. 1.3 seconds in qualifying, 16th in the race, 16th in quality. It's a miracle to be where he is. I mean, in qualifying, be a Renault Alpha and Racing Point, and in the race he beat Stroll and Giovinazzi, a Racing Point and Alpha. Robert Kubica, zero, had huge support, but absolutely destroyed by George Russell this weekend. Last all weekend, Latifi is rumoured to be it. F2 driver Nicholas Latifi, the Canadian, rumoured to re going to replace Robert Kubica. 1.3 seconds off in quality. I feel sorry for Kubica. I like Kubica, but you got to tell the truth. I mean, that was humiliation, really. So, there we have it. All 20 drivers covered. Sainz, Max and Russell all get a 10. Let me know if you agree, disagree. We will be bringing some... Obviously, we have a big break now till the end of August. We will be bringing some F1 videos out. If you're a football fan as well, look out for Premier League predictions that I'm going to do. Luckily, um, the Premier League starts. We don't have F1 for like three, four weeks. And then hopefully it goes quick and then we're on to Spa. Spa, one of the best tracks on the calendar. So, yeah, leave your comments down below. We'll always reply. Look out for the videos coming out. F1 may have finished for a couple of weeks, but we'll still bring some F1 videos out. So, yeah, I don't usually ask for anything on this channel, but if you are an F1 fan like me, subscribe would mean a lot. And, yeah. The videos have been doing really well recently. Qualifying reaction, race reaction, driver ratings. And yeah, there we have it. All 20 drivers covered. That is qualifying reaction, race reaction, driver ratings. We've got a long wait till Spa, but keep an eye out on the channel for more F1 videos. Thank you. Adios.